Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Sandhya here, Senior Consultant Glaucoma. So today I'm here to talk about what are the signs of high eye pressure, what to watch out for. So for those of you who don't know about eye pressure, just like blood pressure exists in the body, there's something called eye pressure that exists. And why is it there? Because inside the eye, which what maintains the round shape of the eye is the eye pressure, which is basically a fluid called aqueous humor, which is constantly being secreted and drained in the eye. So anything that disturbs the drainage of this fluid, be mechanical or otherwise, causes increased eye pressure and results in a condition called glaucoma. So how severe is glaucoma? Glaucoma is a very severe condition. The prevalence of glaucoma or the numbers, if you would like to know, are extremely high. It's the second major cause of irreversible blindness all over the world. So coming to what are the signs of eye pressure? Like I told you, glaucoma basically has two major varieties. You have something called open angle glaucoma and something that we call angle closure glaucoma. Let's come to the angle closure glaucoma because this is where the signs become very important for you. This is an acute condition. What do I mean by acute condition? Something that comes very quickly and it has signs. What are the signs that a patient can come with? You could experience severe redness in the eye, the vision which drops and starts becoming cloudy, the eyes which become red and inflamed and they look big, watering from the eye, headache, the headache can become very severe, go on to a nausea, go on to vomiting. Some patients also complain of seeing colored halos. By that what I mean is, when you look at a bulb, you see something like colored rainbows. So all of these could be your signs of sudden high eye pressure. What do you do then? You have to immediately rush to your ophthalmologist and make sure you get treated. Now coming to the other type of glaucoma and what its sign could be, the open angle glaucoma. This is called as the silent killer of sight. Open angle glaucoma causes mainly visual field loss, which means when you're looking straight ahead, this is your visual field and it goes like that and constricts the visual field. Hence, the signs are not as ominous as angle closure glaucoma is. Uh, how could you still pick up a few signs? Frequent change of glasses, especially in adults who are about 40 or uh, 60 years of age. They could also have difficulty while they're walking. So basically they have a field defect somewhere down there and when they're walking, they're not able to see the stairs properly or when they're walking inside the house, especially in dim lit conditions, they could hit themselves against furnitures. Sometimes when there are objects which are placed higher up and others can see it, they will not be able to visualize it. For example, you have a window and you, you are able to see it and close it and a person who has a field defect in this area will not be able to see so. So these are few of the uh, signs of glaucoma. Do children get glaucoma? Yes, they do. And it's a very severe condition again which is called congenital glaucoma. So a child uh, could actually start developing redness, have continuous watering, refuse to go out to sunlight, hide its face inside a pillow, and the black portion, what we call as the cornea, or the transparent portion of the eye, starts becoming white. So then these are the signs for you, a red flag for you to come to your doctor. What can you do to prevent it? regular eye examinations very important especially in the elderly more than 40 if you're someone who's wearing glasses someone who has conditions like diabetes hypertension migraine sleep apnea make sure you have regular eye examinations eat healthy balanced food exercise regularly have a good health and get your eyes checked thank you if you did like the content here do like it share it and subscribe for us our subscription is below thank you